first two episodes of the Woman on the Plane series, I showed the story of Tiffany Gomez and explained how her story intermingled with that of Tom Cowling's story. The two coming together is dynamite, the atomic explosion in the head, Oppenheimer, it's even in their names, Tom and Tiffany, TNT, the Tina Turner, the cross. I explained TNT in the Titan Decode video if you want more information on that. Tiffany's flight was July 2nd, 2023, which is 777, and Tom was on a separate plane two days before on June 30th, which is 666. So Tom's plane represents the lower plane of existence, the toxic male-dominated world, whereas Tiffany's plane represents the higher plane of existence, the upper toxic female-dominated world. These two plane stories happened within two days of one another, signifying that they ran parallel. The planes did not collide, but the stories did. In Tiffany's story, the plane didn't blow up, meaning the Kundalini connection wasn't made. So Tiffany reincarnated to help the ones who had the potential to rise. However, she learned that her attachment to the others was holding her in the reincarnation cycle, and so she needed to exit out herself for the story to end. Both Tiffany and Tom saw something not real, and both got off the plane. While Tiffany was allowed to go free without arrest or charge, Tom Cowling was dragged off to jail and has not been heard from since. Tiffany too vanished for a time, but then reappeared as a transformed version of herself, leading many to speculate as to whether or not that was really her. This change reflected her reincarnation to the other world as the inversion of her former self, and in her most recent appearance, she was a merged version of the two, prepared to leave by the green exit. Tiffany's story is far from over as she has yet to explain what she saw on the plane. The media has been all over Tiffany's story, but strangely, Tom's story is quiet. If both stories are so similar, why then is there a tremendous emphasis on her story over his? Professional British boxer Tom Cowling, 27, was on a flight returning from the Hideout Festival in Zadar, Croatia, going to Stansted, London on June 30th, when he leapt from his seat, freaking out over seeing something terrifying. He ran for the door, but was tackled by two men and later arrested. Get out. Yo! Hey, man, just Everyone here, come on, please! Go! Mark, I'm turning around, it's your time! <laughs> <laughs> Tom was reported to have resisted arrest, assaulting an officer. He was sent to a local hospital for evaluation, then arrested for assault and has not been heard from since. The only person who has reportedly made a statement on Tom's behalf was Tom's coach, who said he was a clean-cut, good-hearted, born-again Christian and his behavior was out of character so he assumed someone had spiked his drink with a drug. Tom is Thomas or twin. It's also Atom or Adam, meaning he is the man with the potential to rise. He needs to find the divine feminine within in order to rise. This is why we are all in this to get her. Her in this story is represented by Tiffany. If you're not prepared, then you will be spooked by what happens when our two planes of existence merge. And this is what happened to Tom. The name cowling stems from the root word cowl, which means hood. The not real man on Tiffany's flight was originally reported to have been a man in a green hoodie. This was not true, but the fact that this is part of the story makes it relevant. So if cowling means hood and Tiffany was said to have seen a man in a hoodie, then that also suggests that Tiffany saw Tom on her flight. Again, this is not to be taken literally. So what do I mean by them seeing one another? Part of our kundalini awakening process involves meeting Christ at the vault. To me, Ida and Pingala represent the pineal and the pituitary glands. The shashumna coming up from the center of the spine is a tube full of cerebrospinal fluid. All meeting at the third ventricle, that fluid radiant space in the middle of our head. The crystal palace, the cave of Brahman. It is the space where the marriage of the yin and the yang energies of the pineal and the pituitary gland come to perform a perfect harmony within the fluid of that space. It is my belief that this is the place for the birth of the I am in physical form. 
This is shown in many films, such as At the End of Don't Worry Darling. In Don't Worry Darling, as Alice is about to exit the simulation, her dead husband Jack Chambers, JC, or Jesus Christ, appears. He tells Alice to not look back at him because looking back means to have attachments to the physical world. One cannot exit with any attachments to the physical world. No unresolved business, no desires, no longings, and no regrets. In Tiffany's story, she was attached to losing her earbuds, the ones with the potential to rise. So because she looked back, she reincarnated. In Tom's case, he is the man with the potential to rise. So you could say he's one of Tiffany's lost earbuds. He has not yet risen. He came from the hideout, and the hideout is allegory for the fornix, the tomb in which Jesus hid for three days. Cowling also means the top of the chimney, which is symbolic of the spine, the middle pillar, so the top would be the hood or the fornix. Cowling is also a removable engine cover in reference to an airplane. As I explained in my decode on the Poseidon adventure, engine is heart, is genie, or gin, so the engine cover in the head would be the fornix. This links back to AirPod, which was also a removable body of an airplane or husk. So Thomas means twin representing the twin world, but also the twin soul in his higher form, the animus to the anima. So Tom was just coming from the hideout, the fornix, where he saw Tiffany's plane and freaked out so he wasn't ready to leave, which is why he was taken off the plane and sent to jail. In this story too, the connection was not made. Tom was from Newark, England, New Ark, Ark of the Covenant in the head. New Ark is close to New York. Backwards is crown, the head. Tom's last message was, I can't wait to get back in the ring. That's the Tom I know, said the coach. The ring represents the duality battle, the boxing ring representing the cube. It's a reference to reincarnation. So Tom left Newark, the crown, from Stansted in London to go to the hideout in Zadar, Croatia. London means from the great river. The great river within is the cerebrospinal fluid. Stansted is the stony place. Zadar means watcher. Croatia means one who guards or protector. The flight was coming from the watcher or third eye to the stony place at the great river or the cerebrospinal fluid. Returning from the hideout festival. The Bible says Jesus was in the tomb for three days and an angel came down to roll the stone away. Jesus meets Mary at the door, so they open the door together. It takes three to unlock the vault. Tom's flight was Ryanair, and Ryan means little king or kingly. One becomes king when one is anointed in the alchemical process when the olivary bodies anoint you in the head. In the context of the overall story, it seems that Thomas himself is not kingly, but the flight is kingly. He is on the way to becoming king, but he freaked out, much like Tiffany did on her way to the fairy tale kingdom. From this news report on Tom's story, we have three indicators that Tom was on the ascension path. He was described as being a clean living, born again Christian. He was also described as having a good heart. And he was an up and coming prospect, which is similar to Tiffany being called a rising star. So if Tom was on the right path, why didn't he ascend? Why was he scared and then put into jail? Tom seemed genuinely terrified. He pointed at a man sitting in front of him, shouting something like, It's your time. Look at everyone filming, man. Whoa, 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 My best interpretation of this is that Tom was not prepared to exit, which is why he was scared and the connection was not made. If he was scared, it's likely because he was still in the fear trap. His last words were about wanting to get back in the ring, a reference to reincarnation, so he wanted to return. Both Tom and Tiffany had been accused of being drunk or drugged, but neither one of them actually appeared to be intoxicated. Whether they were or not is irrelevant to the story. The mention of it is what matters. Alcohol is symbolic of alchemy, trying to reach the spirit within. 
What is most shocking and terrifying to me is how the other passengers reacted on both flights. They completely lacked empathy. They filmed them both and mocked them, just as was shown in the film Final Destination. No attempt was made to understand why Tom was upset or why he was pointing at the man in the seat in front of him. There was no mention of this man in the media. Unlike Tiffany's flight, no other passengers have come forward with their story. Of the dozen or so people seen filming this event, only two angles were available online, and only one captured this man, only but briefly. The woman filming from this angle captured the man, and she immediately zoomed in to cut him out of the frame, just as the flight attendant blocked the view of him. She is so loud, her voice overpowers Tom's, and yet she can barely be heard on the video taken from the passenger at the rear of the plane. As Tom rushed for the front of the plane, he was tackled by two men. Clearly, Tom wanted off the plane. It seems that this entire event, much like Tiffany's, is some kind of social experiment, as was said by the Cole Show on Tiffany's story. With Tom Cowling put away in jail, it's easy to keep him quiet if he's genuine. Does Tom not have any family or friends that would speak up for him? Tom was sent to jail in Croatia for resisting arrest and assaulting an officer. Tiffany, too, was accused of assault. As I showed in the previous video, assault was linked to vault, invasion, and punch. Vault is the fornix, and invasion is alien invasion. Then the most logical meaning for punch in this context would be to pierce or punch a hole in. This is the hole in the wall within that leads to the other side. In order to punch a hole in the wall, one must meditate to reach the fornix for the alien invasion to take place, meaning the kundalini connection, so one can rise into Christ consciousness. Tom was a born-again Christian, meaning he was awakened. He had a good heart, which could mean he was connected to the heart. He was ready to rise, but he wanted to reincarnate or get back in the ring. He left Newark from Stansted, the stony place, on the cerebrospinal fluid to the Watcher Zadar Pineal, where he was at the hideout. On his way home, he was scared by seeing something no one else saw and wanted off the plane of existence. He assaulted an officer, police, duality, and was put in jail. Much like we saw Tiffany reappear in the black and white duality of the prism or the cube of cubed consciousness. Jesus or Tom was supposed to meet Mary or Tiffany at the door at Fornix, but they freaked out, looked back. Tiffany reincarnated through the sun portal and came here. He too got off the plane, meaning he reincarnated, but Tom is stuck in jail, prison, or the prism. He is once again in the cube. He's separated from the divine feminine, which is why we have not heard from him. He is in the upper red sky world, while Tiffany is in the lower blue sky world. If you like this video, please show your support for my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, contribute. Thanks for listening. Hope you're having a great day. Bye for now.